All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, let's talk about why Ted Cruz wants Bitcoin miners in the Lone Star State, the Lone Star State of Texas. Texas is huge. Do you know Texas is bigger than Europe? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? All right, let's go on. So what's going on? And these are the real miners. These are the big corporate miners. Uh, if anything, as you read the news, this is dated December 19th. 2021. I would say read the news, not just the headlines, and get it get a sense for what's happening. Uh, like with the Nvidia selling hundreds and hundreds of GPUs to that influencer crypto guy, and then he pulled down his Twitter account because he bragged about it. Uh, people are mining. Corporations are mining. These companies are coming online where you can buy the ASIC machines, and they will house them, maintain them, service them. You own them. You know, it's like an easy button. You're just buying it, and they're taking care of the rest. Now, you're paying a fee, of course, right? But what's happening? That means mining is here. It's here to stay. People are making money off it. Companies are investing in it. It's not just like, oh, it's going to go away. It's going to go away in three months. No, they're actually investing lots of money. And then you got Ted Cruz saying, come to Texas. And uh, why is that? I mean, crypto miners are flocking to some of the country's biggest energy-producing states. But it's not just the cheap power bringing them there, all right? So miners are looking to uh, gas flaring as a potential energy source. One that could help curb one of the big oil's most controversial practices. So what you have here is the miners, the Bitcoin miners, teaming up with big oil. What a concept. Oh, my God. This is awesome stuff. This shows you there's big money. There is big money behind this mining stuff. Uh, big miners are also pleading... Uh, their case to ERCOT, I think that's a power company, I think, or, uh, suggesting they could help the electric provider, yeah, tackle its supply and demand problems by bringing equilibrium to the grid. Interesting concept. There we go, scroll down. Uh, crypto enthusiasts believe the digital currency could become closely interwoven with the energy industry of the future, improving aging infrastructure downfalls as well as helping to reduce carbon emissions. So how will the magical virtual money help the fossil fuel and renewable sector in the coming years? Okay, good question. Uh, Texas is already the home of many crypto startups. It's seeing several new companies seek partnerships with big oil, as we mentioned, and state energy actors to integrate their operations into energy strategies for the next decade. This is, this is awesome. The Bitcoin mining community believes that adding another electricity consumer to the already oversaturated system can help, maybe somewhat surprisingly. All right, they, uh, so they talk about here the um, system provides 90% of the state of Texas. It's uh, temperamental as it requires careful equilibrium be uh, between supply and demand to function well. It's uh, for this reason that crypto companies are suggesting that additional buyers in the system that can take whatever amount of power is delivered to them at any time of day will help maintain this equal, this balance. That makes sense. They're always getting a steady stream of, of flow. Flow Electricity is flow. And there's not these spikes, demands up and down. It's a steady flow, like give me juice. So maybe that's what they're saying about equilibrium. Makes sense. Let's see, Bitcoin miners could benefit from greater access to electricity and the grid would benefit from the almost immediate response, responsiveness of the user. All right. It's about the machinery. It's easy access. All right, here's Ted Cruz. Senator Ted Cruz. Again, he's a politician, so take it for what it is. If you have a moment where you have a power shortage or a power crisis, whether it's a freeze or some other natural disaster where power generation capacity goes down, that creates the capacity to instantaneously shift that energy to put it back into the grid. So that's what they're thinking. They could take the dedicated flow, the equilibrium flow to these miners and put it back into the grid to balance things out in times of a disaster and freeze. They had it last year, two years ago. I can't remember. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, talking about the aging infrastructure, all this stuff. They're trying to, you know, they're thinking about it. They know there's money and solutions. If you want to be an entrepreneur, if you have a business and it's not making any money, it's not a business, it's a hobby. But if you solve someone's problem, 
and they pay you for it, you're going to do well. You're solving someone's problem. Again, like mining. People don't want to go out and buy the CPUs, the grow tents, all this crap. Like, like I said, some of these things, like the river, the river uh, company where you can go and buy the equipment, the ASIC miners, they house and maintain them. They, they solve the problem. You're going to pay a fee, but they're making money off that, and you're going to make money. You don't have to worry about getting your hands dirty with the mining and maintaining it. Let them do it. So you're solving a problem. Entrepreneurship, solving a problem, getting paid. Boom. You're going to do well. Uh, let's see. They're talking about uh, crypto energy projects are already up and running in some parts of the country. In Wyoming, for example, the company JI Mines, Bitcoin, uh, they mine. I got a spam alert. I hate this spam on my cell phone. It drives me nuts. Anyway, running power my RNC. For itself, energy investors who want a piece of the action running power mining rigs from electricity converted from gas flares. Gas that would typically be released into the atmosphere is instead captured and reused. The company, like many others, is now hoping to expand operations to Texas and other states. That's pretty cool. So investors who want a piece of the action running power, running power mining rigs from electricity converted from gas flares. My God, that's pretty neat. Uh, then they talk about glass flaring, talk more. So whether running off uh, waste gas and reducing emissions or contribu contributing to the construction of major green energy projects, it seems that the two sectors will continue to cross paths so long as digital currencies maintain their recent appeal. That's the key. However, the volatility of these types of currencies could deter energy companies from investing until their future becomes more certain. All right, I think the key takeaway is politicians are getting involved. They're uh, saying, come to Texas, and uh, they want to help e equalize the uh, power grid. So there's money there, but these are the big boys. But I don't know. It's pretty interesting to see. My God, look at all these alerts I'm getting. How annoying. Do you guys get these alerts? <laughs> it just drives me nuts. Anyway, there you go. A little article on uh, why Ted Cruz wants Bitcoin miners in the Lone Star State. Good to know what's happening out there. It's not just little guys in their, in their sheds popping up miners. It's the big boys with uh, huge summer farms. And look at my other video where the guy got all the uh, back-end deal from NVIDIA. He's kind of a mediocre, small-time guy, but he has a huge server building. Oh, my God. Race floor, power, air handling, Dell Towers. Oh, my God. <laughs> it, there's different levels to this. So it just shows you people are, are interested in it. The stuff's here. It's uh, people are making money off it. It's not going to go away in a few months. So if you're hesitant, if you're looking at mining, go get a laptop. Get a 35th laptop with a 3080 in it, an AMD processor. Boom. You can crypto mine, uh, GPU and CPU, and you'll be spending $800 or less on an HP or a Lenovo laptop. I don't know. You got to start somewhere. That's what I did. I started with a laptop and an old gaming PC from 2013 that is now running six GPUs. <laughs> So anything's possible, right? All right, that's all I got. Cool article. I'm out of here. Talk to you guys later.